Good morning everyone! So I am doing a little bit of vlogging since it is the holidays and some of my favorite videos to watch during the holiday season are like vlogmas style videos or vlogging videos so I thought this would be kind of a fun one because we just got our Christmas tree. So this is our tree right here and we're gonna move it here. But um, yeah, I think after I, we get this sorted I'll show you guys some more of my Christmas decorations that I have out right now and um, show you guys how much we cut off this tree already because we're gonna need to cut off some more. So we've already cut all this off and I'm gonna make a wreath out of it. And then this is our, <laughs> our tree. <laughs> and it's gonna sit there, I think. So we just can't walk this way. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna try and trim this tree up a little bit. I think it needs to be trimmed. And then decorate it. <laughs> I'm using kitchen scissors, which probably is not the best uh, form of clippers. <laughs> oh, uh, can I get the, where did I do with that knife? <laughs> this is our little um, tree topper. Michael, where did we get this? Target, huh? I assume we also got this from Target. Tree skirt is from Home Goods. And this ornament set that we got from Home Depot. Man, I'm good at vlogging. <laughs> so now I'm gonna throw all that on there and then hopefully it'll be beautiful. Ooh. Michael's family is from Denmark. Oh gosh. And so his mom gave me, gave us these. Aren't they so pretty? They're like very intricate paper ornaments. She gave me quite a few of them, so now I have them for my tree, too. Should I check the strands to make sure they work? Eureka! Don't look right. I definitely don't have enough lights on my tree. <laughs> Okay, so our tree is all decorated. I think I might get another light strand on it because it looks a little bare, but I think it looks really nice. What do you guys think? So like I said, I'm gonna try and make a wreath out of this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to, and I'm not sure what materials I'm gonna use to kind of like tie everything together, but I kind of want to try because I don't want to just throw those in the trash. So I'm just gonna quickly go over what I did to make this wreath in case some of you guys are interested in making their own out of their Christmas tree trimmings. So I originally started with white yarn and I wasn't liking how apparent the yarn was looking. So I switched to this green thread and you can see I'm kind of like bending the trimmings into the shape I want. Obviously the fresher the branches are, the easier they are to work with. So I'm using super old thread that I got from my grandma. This is kind of funny. I would honestly say, it's probably from like the 70s or 80s, like if you could see by the label, but it's still brand new. This one I was trying to work with, which is like a little bit darker of a green, it's disintegrating because it's so old. I'm hoping that maybe this one I can still work with because I don't like throwing stuff away like that, that I'm like, I can still use it. So I ended up switching to a needle because my thread was just tearing apart anytime I place tension on it. So with this method, you can kind of overlap the thread and double it up so it's a bit stronger. And I actually preferred using the sewing needle because you have a bit more control when you're going in between the branches just because you have something to grab onto. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going with what I think looks best. So I'm tying down little branches that I think need to be tied down and connecting branches here and there. It was, took me about an hour or two to do this whole process, but it was just kind of fun to do in front of the TV. And I don't know, I really like doing projects like this, just random stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what I ended up doing and how I got my wreath. Okay, so this is actually a different day. Um, I actually had a meeting this morning in LA and then I drove out there and then the meeting got canceled because there was an emergency. So um, I ended up driving back by my house. I'm in front of Home Goods. I'm actually in the parking lot. So um, I've been in my car for a couple hours. I'm ready to walk around a store for a little bit. But I've been meaning to go to Home Goods for a couple weeks because I wanted to look at Christmas decorations and check out what they have and who doesn't love walking around Home Goods. So I'm going to go in there. My goal is not only to look at Christmas decorations, but I think I also need something to contain my Lush products that I bought. Um, I'll put the video here somewhere, like a link down below. Um, but I bought a lot of Lush products recently and they are super fragrant. 
so I can smell them and I don't necessarily like smelling smells all the time. <laughs> I just want to get some type of airtight container to keep them fresh and contained. So yes, let's go inside because I'm that weirdo talking in her car to herself. Bonk. It's so busy here. But I think one of these might work. I'm gonna look. Okay, so that was kind of a fail. Um, it was super busy in there and I didn't want to get in trouble for recording in Home Goods. It was more busy than normal. I honestly, I think it's just because of the holidays, but there were like not even any carts. That's how busy it was there. So I didn't want to be like all weird or film people that didn't want to be filmed. So I bought some stuff. I'm going to take you guys home and then we're going to look at it as well as some um, of my other Christmas decorations. And we're going to try out seeing how that container works for my lush stuff. Okay, so now I am back home and I'm going to show you guys what I got from Home Goods earlier. Um, I didn't buy that much stuff, but I wanted to show you guys kind of what I bought and also the Christmas decorations that I have up right now. As you can tell, I'm in my living room, which is something new. Like, I never really film out here. Okay, so, ow. Ow, that was heavy. So I bought these. Um, these are, what are these called? stocking holders and they're from Midwinter Modern. These are $14.99 and these are very like, obviously since they're stocking holders, they're very heavy duty. And besides the fact that we need stocking holders because where we hang our stockings, it's not an actual fireplace, it's like an artificial fireplace so I can't like, you know, poke holes into my like makeshift mantle. Um, so these are perfect for that. And I love reindeers for Christmas decorating. I just think they're the cutest thing ever, which you'll see. I have reindeers all over the place. It's this. <laughs> so this is like a, I guess this could be a cutting board or it could be a cheese board. Um, I think honestly, I'll probably use it as a cheese board. Didn't even see me when I hold it. I don't need a cutting board, but I wanted a cheese board for when I entertain and have guests over so I could serve them charcuterie on my cheese board. And also I thought this would be really pretty for pictures. <laughs> Hashtag YouTube life, laying, doing some product layouts on my slab. So yeah, bought that. I have something in my eye. Oh yeah, okay, so these are something that I've been meaning to get for a while. Um, I turned my bathroom into like a Christmas themed bathroom or a holiday themed bathroom and my bath rugs don't match. I've been trying to find some red bath mats but I can't find any anywhere that I like. So I just decided to get some white ones which will go with my theme still. And I also figured the ones that I have in my bathroom right now I need to get rid of anyways because they're falling apart. So these will be a good transition into what's after winter, spring after the Christmas or holiday season is over, I can still use these. So I got, this brand is called Christy. It's a Turkish cotton bath rug. Um, these were actually a lot softer and more affordable than a lot of the other brands that they had there. Um, I got a little short one, or a small one, 17 by 24 inches for in front of my toilet, which was $9.99. And then I got a larger one, and this one is in, what size? 21 inches by 34 inches, and this will lay in front of my tub slash sink area. And I'll take you guys in there in a little bit and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, this one is so random, but I guess I'll show you guys. I bought a shower cap because I needed a shower cap, a new one, and they had them there. So, yep, $3.99. It's a shower cap, you know what I mean? I also bought this uh, throw pillow in this long shape. It says Joy in sequence, and it's a plaid um, pattern pillow. And I bought this because I recently bought new bedding for my bedroom, which I will take you guys in there in a little bit when I do my little Christmas house tour. And I think this will go really cute with the bedding that I got and add a little bit of color to that room. I have to like encourage myself to buy colors to spruce up areas of my house so it doesn't just look like blah. What's in here? Oh yeah, this was basically the reason I went to Home Goods. So this is what I ended up picking for my Lush stuff. And besides the Lush stuff, um, I just kind of figured something like this would be universal after I finished all the Lush stuff. But um, yeah, this is what I bought. So it's one of those, this was not the best place to film. <laughs> I'm like smashed up against my couch. This is um, a glass container. <laughs> and it also has a lid, let me get it out. So it just has like a little, looks like a giant candy jar almost. But yeah, I was thinking for the future, when I'm done with my last stuff, I could put like pine cones or <laughs> like um, 
potpourri or something like that in this. But I'm actually gonna go grab my Lush stuff and see how it fits because I'm really curious about how it's gonna look. Oh man, I talked to you guys for like 10 minutes and I didn't press to record. I don't know maybe if Lush products will smell nicer when I start using them, but this was kind of like my attempt to be like, okay, what is all of this Lush buzz about? Because in my head I was kind of like, it's just soap. <laughs> I was saying earlier before I realized that um, I didn't film, didn't have it recording. Um, I have tried a couple of the Lush stuff. I tried out the, what is this called, Butterbear? This is your guys' Butterbear, um, which is nice. It wasn't like bubbly per se, but it was made the water kind of milky and oatmeal-y, I guess. So that was nice. It just wasn't like a bubble bath like I was expecting. Ooh. I can like the top notes I like whatever is the, the like low notes or whatever <laughs> like it smells like jasmine like I can smell that jasmine in it but what am I smelling in here that I don't like something musky I'm not a big fan of musk I don't think I'm gonna tape this baby up put it in my jar <laughs> didn't I try something else maybe I didn't I don't remember get in trying to like kind of arrange these so it's more decorative too. It doesn't just look like a mass of, I don't know, what do you think? Glasses. <laughs> if you guys can kind of see what this looks like. It's cool. I like it. And I can just like open up the lid and pull out my Lush stuff. I don't actually know where I'm gonna store that, but let me go ahead and show you guys my Christmas decorations now. I want to show you okay, so this is my holiday bathroom. The lighting is gonna be terrible in here because the lighting is very yellow and I'm not in focus. Focus on me. Oh, don't you hate that when you need to sneeze and you don't get it out? <laughs> I'm in my bathroom right now. You're gonna hear a vent because there's it just turns on with the light and that's just how it works in this bathroom. Okay, so these are my new rugs. I need to obviously cut the tags off, but these are my old ones. And I bought these from Walmart. Ooh. <laughs> A couple months ago, not months ago, like it, over a year ago, and you can see they're starting to fall apart. So um, I thought it would be fitting to get some new bath mats. And then I have my matching towels. These I think were from Kohl's. Um, that kind of matched my shower curtain. And I like this because it's also neutral, but um, it has like a little shimmer to it, like the silver. So I thought it was very like winter wonderland. Um, I got that from Home Goods, I want to say, and then all this stuff's from Home Goods too, like Home Goods, Home Goods, Home Goods, Home Goods. So yeah, so that's my bathroom. So I don't know where I'm planning on putting that blush tower thing. Um, mm, don't know. But okay, let me show you the rest of my house. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this area. But um, this is probably one of my favorite little, I guess, nooks in the house. I really like how this looks. Um, this is from Home Goods. Um, this this shaker is from Home Goods. This wine opener was a gift. It's like one of those fancy ones you like plunger it up and then plunger it back down. Um, let's see. This was a little gift. I'm gonna try this eventually. <laughs> Um, this is something I bought in Canada when I was there. So, oh, I didn't even show you guys the best part. Hey, I have a little string light there. These paintings are from Paris when we were there. Back in 2013. Can you believe that? This area is always the first area that gets decorated during any holiday season, so. And here's our Christmas tree. Um, I know I started decorating it, but I finished decorating it and didn't show you guys. So now here's the finished Christmas tree. And I do need to get another thing of string lights. Like they're not plugged in right now. I can plug them in, but it needs another string because this tree is meaty. It's a meaty tree. And then here's where I was just filming. <laughs> yeah, all the mess. These are also from um, Home Goods too. I buy a lot of my stuff from like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I love those stores. I think what girl doesn't. Now I want to see how my joy pillow looks in the bedroom. Okay, so this is what our bedroom looks like right now. Um, it's quite messy. A new bedspread that I got, it's actually like a duvet cover. This is from Eddie Bauer, um, and it came with the duvet cover and the two shams. Ching! Cute! I like it. <laughs> 
So this is my shoe hutch. Um, basically it's just a piece of furniture I bought a couple months ago to put shoes in. So we could keep them off the floor over here, which of course inevitably shoes still end up on the floor. And it's a great place to store keys, decorate, all that kind of stuff. And to show you guys how cute this is. I also have fairy lights and stuff here. This is an artificial candle, so I can leave this on and not have to worry about it. Home goods, home goods. Home goods. I love him. He's so cute. And then this is a, actually a handmade wreath I made. Um, I think I showed that in the beginning of this video. So that's the finished wreath and where I'm putting it. These are some more of those little Danish um, like wall hanging decorations. And they kind of look perfect there. So that's my little hutch. So when you walk into our little home, you get greeted by this. So now for today's giveaway. I am going to be giving away this Glam Glow set. So if you want a chance to win this set from Glam Glow, head over to my Instagram. Here are some of the basic rules, but definitely check the description box below to get more specifics on how to properly enter, as well as Monday's giveaway winner. Congratulations, I'll be reaching out to you very shortly. So yeah, so those are my Christmas decorations for 2017 so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this style video. I know it's really different from the kinds that I usually film, but I like these type of vlogs where they're really casual, but there's something still in it, like the home goods haul. I don't know, I really like home goods hauls. I'm really weird like that. I love house stuff. I'm gonna go because I have a feeling this is gonna be a very long video already, but I hope you guys are enjoying the month of December, <laughs> kind of what I'm doing, just trying a bunch of different types of videos. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!